Good morning, folks. The big question yesterday was how big of a solar flare would be needed to produce that backside kill shot, the massive CME. In truth, there was likely not a large flare involved, and no flare preceding the CME release like we see from sunspots. If you'll recall from earlier last week, there was a million kilometer long plasma filament on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. It stretched across the visible disk, but stayed firmly attached and stable for its duration. Then, it began turning the limb out of sight, over and away to the back side of the Sun. Stereo A, positioned back there behind the Sun, was able to capture images of that massive filament as it entered the back side. But the moment after we saw the eruption, Stereo A saw this. Instead of a nice, tight, dark rope, we see a vast, brighter area around where the filament used to be. Just like the great 2012 filament eruption, this plasma filament tearing away from our star takes all the plasma out of local magnetic fields, which must then reconnect as a solar tsunami spreads out below. It's exactly what we're seeing on Stereo A, a backside solar tsunami from that massive filament eruption. SOHO is relevant this morning for another reason, data missing. And we can tell there is a CME that we don't fully get to see right now. This one was also on the back side of the sun, but closer to the departing limb, likely another filament, and was visible on SDO as a medium-sized eruption. Hopefully the data is put back up today. Last 24 hours on the Earth-facing side of the sun were relatively benign. If anything, I'm keeping my eyes on the plasma filaments on the Earth-facing disk, given what they have been doing just out of sight. Eruption potential is moderate. Let's come to energy detection. In the gamma spectrum, we got double tapped yesterday. This is nine days without gamma signature, followed by two in one day. In the X-ray spectrum, C flares are challenging for our star at the moment. A nearly blank disk is presented with the northern sunspot group being magnetically separated down the middle, positive and negative, the incoming umbras being negative dominant, and appears we may have some more coming over the limb soon just north of them. Here's what we expected, folks. Highly dense shock waves at the beginning of a solar wind speed ramp up should be coronal hole impact as the magnetometers at Earth are already beginning to show some disruption, so we need to watch the KP index today. I'll remind you that we expected an Uyen storm formation event as well. Wouldn't you know it? Cyclone formation warning has been issued for that exact same Indian Ocean system. Spot of good news, high energy proton radiation is waning back down now. And as the equatorial coronal hole exits, and the southern negative opening is visible coming in. Largest quake of the last day was just offshore in Mexico, rang into mid-6 range, a lot of 6.6s, but the USGS eventually downgraded to 6.2. The buoy deviation in that exact location was centimeters only, but definitively due to the rumble. A quick note, the Tennessee nuclear plant shutdown was a compressor issue, luckily not on the nuclear side of things. Pacific moisture is now charging up into the states, and the high-pressure node in the center is serving up a plate of Arctic chill before the fastest of it can make it to the convergence in the east. Tonight, the snow to the north and through the center will add to an existing nightmare, while the freezing rain across the south has the potential to shut down cities. Parts of the Gulf states are just not prepared to deal with that. Europe. What could possibly be the story apart from this tremendous low charging in as the remnants of past storms make their exit to the east. Watch how the clouds follow that wind drive pattern there. Down under, primary convergence between nations with remnant lows and secondary convergences to the north and out to the west. Clouds and precipitation will be all over the place, but that primary convergence takes the cake. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.